Hello everyone, welcome to Ballafell June Tournament. This is our third tournament of the year. I'm excited to have to announce that we have a huge prize pool of 30 million and actually it's 33 million right now and we have over 20 million in giveaways. We will be doing giveaways PR periodically throughout the stream. So stay tuned, stay active in chat, and that's all you need to do to be eligible. Um, most of the giveaway items are in-game, so you will need to be subscribed to Final Fantasy XIV Online. I don't think you need any particular expansions to receive these items, but uh, we do not know for sure, so your mileage may vary. We also have a generous sponsorship from ShumiStore.com. Use code BALAFEL at checkout to get 10% off any purchase made today before midnight pdt uh we'll also be giving away ten dollars every single hour so ten dollars in the first hour twenty dollars in the second hour etc to the store so stay tuned for that um many other things check the bot is giving away or is putting up all the commands that we'll need and let's get started with our first game which is dies constantly and xbox 4 versus Marble Marvels, and we're getting right into it. Let me get this in again. Okay. So we're getting straight into it here. The ball is being pushed. You may have noticed that we have a new field today. We have two obstacles preventing aces, what we were calling them last time, scoring. And it looks like the red team's getting pushed away right into their goals. One, one player is outside, dies constantly, trying his best to push the ball out while his teammate tries to get back into the field. This ball stuck in the northwestern corner, dies pushed into his goal, and that's a goal for the blue team. Morbo Marvel putting one on the board. Let's reset. So once again, these anvils, they're new. They weren't here in the last tournament. They're preventing the single push win. So these games will be longer on average. And we have a lot of people, as you can see in the shadows, cast on the field. Lots of people watching today. Hopefully lots of people in the chat. Uh, we'll try to give away something at the end of every game, maybe two things, who knows. Just gotta stay tuned to find out. Alright. Getting ready for the next countdown here. All these games are best of three, single elimination. Let's see who's going to be moving forward in this tournament. And we're off. Looks like a Loom from Xbox 4, but he somehow turned back. Maybe some lag or something. I don't know. We got Swift Cast coming from Dies constantly to try to push the ball back. Ball pushed into the lower left corner. Dies trying his hardest to push it back. We got a lot going on in the southern half as well. Can this ball be pushed? Red team's having a little trouble keeping the ball out. Oh, and that's a goal for the blue team again. Dies constantly. And Xbox 4 will be knocked out of the tournament. Right? Is it? Okay. Yep. Um, let me check something real quick. Okay, forgive my typo earlier, I had to type that very fast. Um, but yes, Dice Constantly and Xbox 4 have been eliminated. And Marble Marvel goes on to face the next team as we go through these round one. Alright, looks like the ready check's coming out. Next up we have... 
Gray Esther and Ashigara K versus Swole and Small. All right, ready checks are coming out. All right, the countdown has started. Three, two, one. Here we go. Uh, I did see Gray walk onto the field a little early. I'm not sure if their refs will call that, but we're going right in here. It could be lag on my end, I don't know. But we got the ball right in front of the red goal. Es Gray, Esther, pushing the ball with the swift cast. We got two swift casts from the red team. No more swift casts for the next however long cooldown the swift cast is. I think it's a minute. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, here we go. The ball is stuck in the top left corner. Red side so far has not been favorable, but the field is symmetrical. I assure you that. So it could just be a skill differential. But actually, red team's being able to push the ball a little bit out of here. May Avante with a big push, pushing it back toward the red side, closer to the goal. It is hard stuck in here. We got oh, and a goal from the blue team. Arnold Guntram with the out of bounds push, which is legal with the right trajectory to shoot it straight into the goal. That's one point for small, small and small. And it looks like we have a swift cast loom. Oh, and the ball actually goes straight in. I think there was a big enough push to clear the anvil. Hmm. Was this an oversight on the balance team? I don't know. But looks like uh, Swollen Small will be taking this victory. Which eliminates Grey Esther and Ashigara Kai. Next up, we have Shinpaku Alliance and Leaf Strat. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so looks like ready checks are going out. Shinpaku Alliance versus Leaf Strat. Here we go, the countdown is starting now. We got Nugget Lord and Leaf Rookie on one side, Delphi Tolomi and Dara Cervantes on the other. We got J kicks to the center, pushing the ball right next to the red side. Red's gonna have to push fast here to get it out of the way. It does get pushed up to the north, barely saving them. Let's see if Darth Cervantes, ooh, he shoots it in the wrong direction. You have to manually point your character in the direction you wanna push. So I will say, I think controller players have a little bit of a disadvantage here. And we've seen this before, ball of, the ball fell stuck in the top red corner. Blue team trying to push it as hard as they can. Are they going to implement the out of bounds route where they jump onto the white balcony in front of the door to push? We will see. The ball still stuck. Rookie pushing the ball into the wall right next to the goal. It's so close and it goes in. That's a point for a leaf strat. Here we go. We're going to reset the ball now. What can. Shinpaku Alliance do here to push the ball away. I'm I'm not sure what the optimum strat is here. We haven't done a lot of play testing on this field. But something about the blue side right now is working. I've seen Loom on the red side and I don't know if opening up with Loom is a good idea. Uh, some mechanics of this game are a little weird, such as the ball will get pushed a fixed distance no matter where in your wave you hit it. So you can hit it with the tip of your wave and it'll still go max distance. So let's see what they think here. We got Swift Cast. Uh, put ball stuck. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, and it's barely right in front of the red again. This is what those barriers were meant to do, but it's so close. Now we're playing in the southern half of the red side let's see we got some you know oh delphi pushed away this could be red's chance to gain ball control back on to the blue side but we shall see the ball is moving towards center here got a whiff from delphi ball being slingshotted back and forth 
We got a good push from Leaf. Yep, now it's back into the center. We just saw a Hydro Pole. I'm not sure that actually, that doesn't actually move the ball at all, but it did look really cool. Um, we haven't seen any new tech around here. That's probably the first unusual spell we've seen. I hope he didn't use a Swift Cast on that. Ball still being pushed around in the lower left red corner here. Oh, there's the first flashbang of the, the night. That's the second flashbang, making it hard to see. But ball still stuck here. No movement. We got Nugget Lord playing a good defense, standing right in front of the goal. A little bit of goaltending. Oh, but he did shoot it in a very weird trajectory there. That did not help. This opens up a chance for Leaf Strat to push it back. But it's heading back to the south corner again, and it may get stuck here. Oh, it's actually more on the blue side now, but I think blue team's going to push it back. Yep, here we go. Dar with the... Push into Swift Cash Push to push it right into the goal. That's a goal for the blue team. Shinpaku Alliance with the win. Knocking. Oh, sorry. Leaf Strat with the win. Knocking out Shinpaku Alliance. Ooh. We are not seeing. So far, all the games have been blue victories. 2-0. Not the most exciting gameplay. I would, I would hope a stronger red team shows up to show the blue team what's going on, but we shall see how that goes. So we're loading up the next teams here, and that would be uh, the next team here is Osmo Pops Virtues versus Morble Marvels, the winners from a previous game. But let's uh, let's do a couple of giveaways. Let's do. Th Let's do three right now, just to, uh, you know, get the crowd a little more hype. Uh, let me post this in the chat one more time. All right. If you want to win a prize for the Ball of Fell tournament, um, we have type exclamation point prizes to see what we're giving away. But we'll be doing more in-game items here. So let's see the chat blow up. If you want to win a prize, just type anything in the chat. You will be eligible for the giveaway. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Got Surf23. Congratulations, Surf23. Let me just note that down real quick. All right, let's do another one. Get ready. Here we go. Let me see that chat blow up. If you've typed in chat in the past, I don't even know, like minute or so, you are eligible to win. All right. Three, two, one. OGC underscore EJ39. Congratulations. You have won a prize. Okay, uh, sorry, I've made an error. It was actually Shinpaku Alliance who won. I had the scoreboards flipped. Sorry for that, won't happen again. Shinpaku moves on, Leaf Strat is eliminated. We have Ozma Pops Virtue versus Morble Marbles. Okay. Looks like the games are about to start here. Can Morble Marvels get this victory once again? They are proven themselves victorious before, and they have a quick score immediately off the bat. Morble Marvels with the first point.
we are looking at two Balafel, uh, let's call them veterans. They have played in previous tournaments. I've seen Kassavar before. I don't remember how far he plays, but Morbo Marvel have a couple wins under their belt already. So let's see if they can take home the victory today. All right, and we're off. A little bit of latency. Oh, but for the first time, the ball is on the blue side. And I am excited to show you guys that I actually have a second camera. Oh, God, that is not right. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, now I got it. Here you go. <laughs> Linus, can you turn off your, <laughs> your signs, please? Thank you. Okay, so we got the ball in the blue corner. Getting pushed around here, getting very close to the goal here. This may be the first blue goal of the, or a red goal of the night. Um, but the ball is slowly making its way back to the red side. We got Slam Bacon Fist pushed away and whiffing a shot here. But he does a pretty good shot. The ball fell. It's still in this corner here. Oh, but we're seeing it in center court right now. This could potentially be good for the blue team no but it looks like it's going push back into the blue corner and let's see if oh it's actually getting pushed back to center toward the red side is the curse of the red side coming back when red was doing so good oh we have an elephant can someone tell that person to put their elephant away please thank you and the ball is getting pushed back and forth oh the t the red team's actually getting pushed back into their goal. They cannot put up a defense, but I think this ball is going to get pushed back to center. Oh, this is this is intense. It's getting back to the center here. Back onto the blue side. I should have switched cameras when it was on the red side. Sorry, still getting used to this. Uh, we got flashbangs coming out. That's got a really long cooldown, so hopefully they used it correctly here. Uh, we got one player going out of bounds, but actually pushed before they can do the ball to push the ball back center. Ball's still in the corner. One person's still out of bounds. Are they able to see back there? I'm pretty sure they can. Line of sight does not matter in this. That's why they're allowed to go out of bounds and push the ball. And the ball is now in the southeast corner. What are you playing? What are you playing? All right. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of real life interaction there. Uh, the ball is now in the, the red side. We're going to switch back. To kill, kill, die, die. Can you believe that guy's like a dad? All right. Anyway, sorry. I've got a few guests over at my my place right now. Um, but regardless, we got the ball on the blue <laughs> the blue side. Sorry, I have to get myself back together here. And that's the first goal for red, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, a real uh, are you win son moment right there. But with that, we have a tied it up. Ready checks are going out. We have seen the first red goal of the night. Can they take it to victory and knock out the Marble Marvels? Marble Marvels might be riding some momentum from their last win, but Osmo Pops Virtue has been showing to be a competitor. They've pushed the ball back and forth. We've seen more movement from the ball on the court in this game than any other game so far. Countdown's going out. Swift casts into push. We got a push onto the blue side. Ooh, a very nice push from the red, but actually the perfect block from Lumina over here. Ball very dangerously close to the goal though. Actually getting pushed away. Let's go to the blue side camera to see how things are going. The ball is stuck in that corner. Oh, actually pushed back to center field. Red in advantage here. They have a clear shot to the goal, but barely misses. Blue team trying to get it out of their goal. Flashman is coming out. Here's another push. 
Actually, back to center. Now it's on the right side. Oh, and then slam bacon fist. He's in the perfect position to remove the ball from that side, but it's getting trapped in that corner. We got big pushes from Bork, Nazara, Lumina, Shepard also pushing the ball. It's a, it's a mess going over there. Oh, one player goes out of bounds to push the ball, but it's getting knocked around by the other maledictions of water. Ball back on the blue side. Oh, straight into the blue goal, and it's Ozma Pop's Virtue taking the win. All right, that is our first red victory of the night. A very intense game, very respectable from both teams, but Ozma Pop's Virtue will continue, and Marble Marvel, unfortunately, will be knocked out. Next up, we have Wah and Mafia Party. Marble Marvel was actually the finalist in the last tournament. Fun fact. And this countdown is starting now. So let's see. Is Wah versus Mafia Party. All right, and we are off the ball. Oh, straight into the red goal. First point for Mafia Party. Time to reset. And we are off. We got Wa versus Mafia Party. Oh, and another quick goal from Mafia Party. Oh, very, very fast game here. We were hoping not to see it with these changes, but I guess we did not account for such a strong push. And that will knock out Wa, unfortunately. Next up, we have Pion versus Swole and Small. Pion was our grand champion from last time who took home about 7 million. So uh, the prize pool has almost doubled. I, uh, well, what they're taking home is about double of what they won last time. So let's see if they can take home even more. Okay, never mind. I've been told it's about the same, which is still a lot. There'll be more for runner-up teams. And the countdown has begun. We got Pion versus Swollen Small. A fast push from the red side, but Arnold pushing it back. Let's see what they can do here. Ishin pushing the ball toward the blue side. It is now stuck in the corner, very close to the blue goal here. We're moving to the blue camera. And it's getting pushed, almost goes into the goal, but Arnold manages to push it away. It's getting pushed back to center. All right, the ball is still disadvantaged to blue. Oh, actually, now it's getting pushed onto the red side. Let's see where this goes. And that's a goal for the blue team. Swole and small. Taking one point. All right, ready checks are coming out. All right. Three, two, one. Will we see another fast goal here? 
We got Swift Cast from Ao Aoino. Hope I said that right. Um, the ball is being pushed around the lower half. There's so many players in the area. The signs are disappearing. Oh, there's a sign again. The ball fell. Oh, launched. Oh, that was a crazy shot from the whole all the way across the the, the field. Swole and small knocking out the last last tournament champions. Pion out as swollen small advance forward. Uh, we have Slippy Scuttlers versus Shinpaku Alliance next. There was a bit of an issue with Slippy Scuttlers before. Let's see if they have resolved that. All right, we are off. The ball is on the blue side. This is looking good for... Oh, I didn't even put the team names down. Uh, I'll do it after the point. But here we go. Red team. I'm just going to call them red team and blue team for now. Sorry. Uh, we were having some technical difficulties. Red team pushing the ball. Oh, we have one of the red team members pushed away. Ryusei. Oh, both red team members pushed away. Ball's being pushed back to center here. Oh, Dar Cervantes pushing the ball. Oh, it's, it's a back and forth right now. Ball is moving back and forth. But now we're stuck in the top left corner. Can the red team push it back? Got a well-placed push from Delphi. It's a, it's a brawl in the top right, top left corner right now. Ball is getting pushed mostly into the wall. I'd like to see actually walk out of bounds and push the ball towards the center, but looks like they're just gonna force it out of there. We got a swift cast from Dar. Totally whiffs. It's right in front of the blue goal. Ah, and that's a goal for the red team. Let me uh, put these names down real quick before we start. We got Skippy Scuttlers and Slippy Scuttlers and... Oh wait, I did do it right, but it's not showing up on stream for some reason. Oh, I turned it off, that's why. Whoops. All right, so that is a point for the Slippy Scuttlers. All right, ready checks are going out. Let's see who's going. And we're off. We got a Swift Cast and Sure Cast, I heard. Sure cast does prevent you from being pushed by Malediction of Water. A lot of pushing here. The ball is standing still, but it's being launched back into center stage. Red team actually pushing it back up to the blue here. This could be Slippy Scuttlers taking it away. Moving on ahead. It is close, though. We got They're trying their best. We got Delphi pushing it back towards center, and I think his teammate Dar is trying their best to knock away the opponent's Offense, maybe the best defense. Who knows? Let's see. They're put, they're trying their hardest. I think Dar is whiffing right now. He's a little too close to that ball. He needs to put a little distance in front of himself. I'm not I'm not sure if Malediction of Water actually pushes anything behind you, or like what you're on top of. There there might be a a little bit of a distance requirement, and it's going straight into the blue side. Slippy Scuttler is taking this round. Well, they're taking the whole thing. They are sending Shinpaku Alliance packing. Shinpaku Alliance. Good effort, they had their first win, and now they are eliminated. Alright, so we are about halfway through the games here, which means it's everybody's favorite section, the sponsor segments. We will be doing several sponsor segments here, so hang tight. There will be giveaways throughout the sponsor segment, and something very uh, special. With that said, let us move on to our sponsors. So first we have... Eorzea Retirement Community. The Eorzea Retirement Community is proud to support another Taru Taru sports ball game. Come join their happy family at Old AF, where they welcome everyone old and old at heart. Please contact Jazz7718 on Discord. That is J-H-A-Z, hashtag 7718. Or in Final Fantasy, Jazz Wizwo, J-H-A-Z, 
last name W-I-S-W-O-H on Adamant Toys. Thank you, Aorzia Retirement Community. Next up, we have Nikone Minase. He says, Bee's Knees is a bully and will lure you in with pets, but slap you after. Don't trust them. Frog bless. Thank you, Nikone Minase. Next up, we have the Shinpaku Alliance. Life can be unpredictable. Do you oversleep for raids, miss marble clears, or dislike the idea of clicks and vomit at the sound of the word static? Join Shinpaku Alliance where they can help. Join at the Discord link below or type in exclamation point Shinpaku for the link. Next up, we have Shumi Store, shumistore.com. Want to expand your ever-growing figure collection or perhaps have been on the fence on getting into collecting? Check out Shumi, an online store with a robust catalog that includes Funko Pop, Good Smile, and more. Type exclamation, exclamation Shumi for more information and a link. Use code BALAFEL for 10% off any purchase made today. We will be giving away $10 to the store uh, at the end of the sponsor segment, so stay tuned, along with a lot of other things. Next up, we have Dies Constantly. He says that sincerely dies constantly thank you dies constantly for the donation and lastly a shout out for, to big moog the fc who invented balafel and is putting together all of the streams the house the field and setting up the community for balafel so thank you big moog and now back to the games All right, we got a ready check going off here. Uh, let me get the team names who are playing. We've got Osmopos Virtue versus Mafia Party. And they are off. The ball getting launched into the blue corner. Let's see what they can do. Oh my goodness. Did that again. Um, all right, <laughs> there's nothing there to see. Uh, the ball is getting pushed around in the blue corner here. And oh, that's a goal for Ozma Paz Virtue. Just a reminder, all these games are now best of five. So we'll be seeing up to five games. But let's see if Ozma Pop can cut that short and just make it three as they are now up one game. All right, ready checks are going out. Let's see if Mafia Party has a new strategy to win this. All right, we got a push from the goal, actually reaching too. So, Casavar, it's got a little bit of know-how in here. He is a winner before. He whiffs the ball a little bit. Kind of doing the same mistake he was doing in the last game where he, I think it was him last game where just standing in front of the ball does not actually push the ball any bits. I don't think. Oh, and he's knocked away with the swift cast casted. Pushing the ball toward the bottom here. Still stuck in the red south corner here. A whiff from Remus Anima. Ball returning back to the bottom corner. Hopefully red team can push it out here. Oh, we got an out of bounds play from Slam Bacon Fist. Pushing the ball into a different section, but not gaining any advantage, unfortunately. Got a double push from Remus Anima and Lynn Hasfeld. The ball kind of in a perfect place to get pushed here, but Bacon Fist, or Slam Bacon Fist, able to push it out of the perfect launch, and now we're back into the corner. Can the red team push it off? Ooh, that was very close. Almost blue team almost scoring there, but they are standing a little bit far back. Lynn Hasfeld looks like she's playing a little bit of defense. They're afraid of that. Cross field goal. Oh, and there, there is it. It is getting pushed to the top right here. We are. We, we might see a red goal. Possibly. The ball is getting pushed in, back and forth. We are. Let's go to our camera, alternate camera here. Uh, we're getting knocked back and forth. Oh, right in front of the blue goal. Can the red team push it off? 
It's going straight in. That is a goal for the red team. That's two points for Osmopos Virtue. One more win, and Mafia Party will be knocked out. All right, we got our ready check going. This could be the last round for Mafia Party. Let's see if they can come back. All right, and we are off. The ball is in the red corner. Let's go back to the overhead camera here. Ball is now in a perfect spot to be scored by the red team. We got a whiff from Remus, but a good push from Lin. Getting it close to the red side, back into the blue. Let's see if they can get it away from this. Mafia Party has to try hard here to not get knocked out. The ball is getting pushed back and forth. We see the desperation. Any any new tactics coming out? Oh, we got a whiff. We got a, we got a sure cast inside the goal to make sure they don't get knocked away so they can continue to goaltend. Goaltending has a bad connotation with it, but in this case, it's a pretty good defense. They're getting pushed back and forth. It's very close to the blue side. One player knocked out of bounds. We got a flashbang coming out. He's going to have to come back quick. Casavar pushing the ball right in. Ozma Pops Virtue taking the win. Mafia Party knocked out. A tough fight put up by Mafia Party. Unfortunately, they weren't able to get any points on the board. Red side actually coming on strong in the second half with the first victory. So there is no real side bias, I don't think. But we will continue to see. Next up, we have Swole and Small on the red side versus Slippy Scuttlers on the blue side. Warm in my room as well. I wish someone would hit me with a malediction of water right now. And we're off. We got Swift cast casting on both sides. A push onto the toward the blue side, but actually push toward the red side. We got May Avante playing defense inside the goal. Just spam casting that so the ball cannot get anywhere near. The ball is now in the lower blue corner. All right, the ball being pushed around here. Right in front of the blue goal. Ooh, but it's getting dangerous. Oh, ooh, that was a very good push from Emma Griffin. Super close to scoring there. May and Arnold both looking to launch that ball. Ooh, and a huge launch. I believe the launch or like the push distance is additive. So if you both hit the ball, it will actually go twice the distance of a regular push. And the ball is now being pushed toward the blue side Arnold and May playing kind of like a half defense half offense they're committing to that long distance push getting all their value from the push but also staying further back so that they do not have the ball cross them Ryusei able to push the ball away from the goal actually launches it back to the red side we have a very intense game right here both teams knowing exactly what they want to do let's go back to the overhead camera All right, the ball of fells being launched. Arnold standing in the goal, pushing at a pretty good angle here. Trying to get the ball back onto the blue side, but Ryusei is doing that offense-defense position right now. He's getting somewhat pushed around. I think Mayavante is playing a little bit of offense, by or a good defense by actually pushing away the players instead of the ball. But now they're focusing on the ball. Arnold going out of bounds. He knows the tricks. He's also a longtime ball fell player. Ooh, but that's a goal for the blue team. Slippy Scuttlers putting up a good fight and scoring their first point of this game. All 
All right, ready checks are coming out. We got a Lucid Dreaming for Mayavante. I don't know what that's going to do for him, but maybe he's, he's casting so many Maledictions of Water, he's running out of mana. We get, we're seeing a Toad Oil for Mayavante. Uh, rumor has it that it actually will prevent you from getting pushed occasionally, the evasive properties on that. But the ball is right in front of the blue side. I mean, sorry, the red side. And Arnold, with a good defense, able to push the ball back to center field. May, standing in the center, trying to get the ball... It looks like he's trying to just keep the ball away from the center, not allowing it to cross that center line, not particularly looking for a goal or anything. We got a flashbang coming out from Arnold. We got pushes back and forth. The ball is moving through the center. Who can get the advantage right now? Arnold retreating for a defensive position in the goal or toward the goal, standing behind the wall, trying to get a good push. Ooh, right over the goal. Uh, looks like we're going to see some play in the top left corner here. Arnold playing a great defense, just standing behind those walls, getting the perfect trajectory on those pushes. Now the ball falls back into the center. Oh, a straight launch right in front of the blue goal. May could be able to the one to score here. Ball getting pushed back to center. Oh, a very large push. Arnold with a swift cast push here. We're seeing a lot of swift casts coming out. All right, we got a J kick back to the center here. May Avante with the movement. Oh, but he's also getting pushed around. Oh, that wasn't was that a, that was a JK. Yeah, and then we we're seeing a flying frenzy. I believe that move is called. That's the uh, it's another f movement technique similar to JK, but it is a GCD, so they cannot be casting Malediction of Water at the same time. We've got a goal on the blue goal here, so that will be one point for Swole Small. It's currently 1-1. These are very intense games. They're going longer than most games that we've seen so far. And I would say their skill level is about even. We've got great defense from the red side and blue side has a great uh, ball control. We'll see which tactic prevails in the end here. We've got the countdown going off. 10 seconds to the, to the balls get pushed around by Malediction of Water. So let's see. We've got three swift cast total and a sure cast. Not trying to get pushed here. The double push from blue side and not exactly the best result I think that they were looking for. But they are in advantage. The ball on the red side here. We got a flying frenzy through the middle. Mayavante playing a little bit of offense. Pushing away Ryusei while Arnold throws out his flashbang. Two flashbangs coming out. So hard to see. Even I can't see right now. The ball even closer to the red side. Oh, and that is a goal for Slippy Scuttlers. Slippy Scuttler has got a lot of control on that blue, even after Mayavante disrupting them. Let's see if they can innovate on that strategy. The Slippy Scuttlers have the download on Swole Small. Do they know how to play around this strategy? We will see. Let me update the score here. We got Slippy Scuttlers up another point. Ready checks going out. That was a pretty quick game, so maybe swift cast or sure cast, maybe on cooldown now. Those are pretty important spells to have, especially if you're on defense or offense. You don't want to be pushed away from the ball when you're about to land that goal or prevent a losing goal. And off we go. The ball fell getting launched straight into the red goal. Swole small. Unfortunately, knocked out, but they put up a good fight. Slippy Scuttlers moving forward in the bracket to our grand finals. All right, so uh, Slippy Scuttlers will be moving on to the finals, I believe. Let me check the bracket. Yes, Slippy. the finals is Slippy Scuttlers versus Osmopop's Virtue. But first, we'll be doing our third place game, which is... Mafia Party versus Swole and Small. And we are ready to go to our third place game. This is Mafia Party versus Swole Small. Winner of this walks away with uh, some amount of money. I'll figure it out later. All right. Countdown starting. Let's see who can take it. These are both formidable teams. They've climbed the ladder. They've beaten the team. All right. So we've got the ball on the red side here. 
Oh, getting dangerously close to the red, but we've got a red player. I can't see their name right now. Lin. We got Lin being able to push the ball out, playing a strong defense. We got the swift cast coming out from Lin, looking to take the advantage back. But Arnold pushing it back. Arnold getting himself pushed back. The ball kind of lost in that corner there, but you can kind of see it. It's in the lower left, getting launched around. We've lost the sign because there's so many spectators on the screen. All right, it's getting dangerously close to the red, and that's a goal. All right, so that was a point for Swole Small. Just a reminder, this is also a best of three. All right, and we've got the countdown going off now. All right. Where the ball is right in front of the red side. Let's uh, switch to the red side camera if I can do it properly. Oh, God, I didn't full screen it. This is a disaster. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, the red side camera, the ball. It's getting pushed around in that corner there. Let's see what they can do. We've seen uh, one player. Oh, one player is just getting pushed around with the ball. Might as well be the ball of, ball of fill itself. And this way, they can't even get a cast off right now. And it looks like it's gonna. They're getting pushed into red goal as well as the ball. Point for Swole Small. Oh God, I did it again. Don't look. All right, we got a ready check coming out. Oh, uh, that was a point for us. A little small. Let me update the scoreboard. Oh, okay. Ten, countdown starting now. We got 10 seconds. We got three swift casts, two from the red side, one from the blue side. Flying frenzy. Ball not going where they want. Arnold launched out of the arena. He's going to have to get back in here. Oh, but the ball... Oh, he actually hits the ball from outside of bounds. Let's see here. The ball getting launched around. Arnold making it back in. Arnold playing out of his mind right now. Able to hit that ball where he needs to go. Even though he was knocked out of bounds. Most players would be booking it back, but he just launched it. Ball getting back in the center field. No advantage so far. Oh, back on the blue side, but getting launched back to center field here. Remus Anima right on top of the ball, but also that causes him to get pushed around. We've got Lin inside the goal playing defense. All right, that's a flashbang coming out of the ball. Actually, oh, two players whiffing on the ball, getting it launched back to blue side, but blue side has a good defense, pushing it back. We see a swift cast coming out from Arnold, but the ball is not moving. Everyone's pulling out all the stops right now. A whiff from Remus. So pushing the ball, but the ball's not moving too far here. May looks to be launching his opponent. Lin is getting pushed back. Oh, Lin with a big pushback. Ball still stuck in his corner. Remus trying to get it out the best he can. And that's a goal for Swole Small. That's it. Yes, Swole Small are now third place. Congratulations, Swole Small, on being third place. You get 5% of the... Prize pool, I believe. All right. With that said, we will be moving on to our grand finals. Um, move on to our grand finals. All right. So our grand finals are... Ozma Pops Virtues versus a Slippy Scuttlers. And the countdown has begun. And we're off. We have a whiff from the red side pushing the ball. Ooh, ever so close. Oh, and that is a goal for the blue team. Quick goal in the grand finals here. Slippy Scuttler is taking the first point. 
hopefully Ozma pops Virtue can space that first push better. It, you definitely can reach it, and it is a very good hit, but it's kind of hard to hit. So uh, one point for uh, Slippy Scuttlers. All right, we got the countdown going off here. Five seconds. All right, we had Emma Griffin pushing the ball back, Dan landing right in front of her. Ooh, but the ball is flying straight to the red goal. Can Red push it back? They're trying their hardest here. A push to the south, right past Emma. So Emma's Emma's shot whiffs. Ball fell again, launched to the north. Still on the red side, Slam Bacon Fist trying to make it push back here. I believe the second hit does get a little bit of priority. So if you do manage to hit it while it's in motion, you uh, change its trajectory. We've got Casavar standing behind the the uh, barrier here. Uh, Casavar actually just won a, tournament, or, uh, a giveaway, so this could be his lucky day. But maybe it doesn't take luck. Maybe it's all skill. He's going in there with the swift cast, with the push. And we've got... A lot of water in the top top right corner. We've got one player knocked out right now on the blue side. Blue's defenses are, are halved. And Emma's getting pushed to one as, as well. Ryusei back in the game. Trying to get the ball out. Ooh, the ball is pushed back to center. No advantage just yet. Now it's getting pushed onto the red side. Blue advantage. Can red team push it away? Paz Virtues trying their best. Ball's in there. Castlevar standing behind the barrier once again. Oh, and the ball is moving back. Both players trying to get that ball out of there. Slam Bacon Fist trying to maybe hit both the ball and the players at the same time, but mostly focused on the balls. We're seeing a swift cast from Slam Bacon Fist right now. He walks up, not sure if that hit, is right in front of the blue goal. Or sorry, the red goal. The blue team has a chance to score right here, and I think they will. Slippy Scuttlers with the second score. One point to winning grand finals. Hopefully Osmo Pops Virtues can put up a fight. All right, and we have a J kick coming out from Casavar, getting close to that ball. But the ball getting launched onto their side. Let's hopefully they can push it out here. We've got a sure cast coming out from Emma. Doesn't want to get pushed. She plans on getting in front of the ball. I'm not really sure. It might be lag. I might not be able to see the ball in real time here. But we get the ball getting pushed back onto the blue side. Oh, it's getting launched straight in. Slam Bacon Fist with the slam dunk straight into the blue goal. We have one point. For Ozma Pops Virtues. One to two. Is are we gonna see our reverse 3-0? That would be exciting for our grand finals. All right, countdown's going out. 10 seconds till uh, we see what happens now. Let's see what strategies are changing here. And we're off the uh, Casavar with another J kick. Ooh, a very well-timed J kick with a push to get advantage, but he's also pushed across the stage. He's making his way back. No sprint use there, which is fine. You know, he's here, he's, he's pushing the ball. He's pushing, he's throwing all his water into that corner. Pushing away the enemy team as well back into their goal, but uh, we're seeing the red team try to like ride the contour of that wall straight into the goal, and I think it's working. They're inching ever so closely to that blue goal, and the Osmond Paz Virtues, oh, getting launched with the ball fell back to center stage. Now back to neutral, back into red team advantage on the upper blue corner but blue team's getting ready to launch a strong push but like I said the second push gets priority so slam bacon fist with a well-timed push backward and a goal we have a tie a, we're back down to game point for grand finals it could not get more exciting than this let's see who wins put who you want to win in the chat let's see it 
I want to see who's the more popular team, you know? Let's go. All right. Let me update the scoreboard. Next point wins. Next point is taking home uh, roughly, what, like six mil each? Something like that. Which is a lot of money, you know? You know how long it takes to make six mil for some people? Not me. I'm not poor. I, I could never be. Look, I'm giving away all these items. Uh, all right, anyway. I'm just kidding. All these items were provided by Big Movie FC. Big shout out to them. We got the ball right up against the blue side. Blue team probably looking really scared right now, but they are pushing hard, getting it out of there. Ooh, one player pushed out, but he actually got back in. All right, the ball. Still in red advantage. Oh, it's right next to the blue goal. Can they push it away? Oh, we're seeing a push. Oh, and Osmo Pops Virtues takes the win. Congratulations to Osmo Pops Virtues. With the reverse sweep. They were looking pretty down at 0-2 on Slippy Scuttlers. But then they took home the win. Congratulations. That does not conclude the tournament so far, but, you know, that does say who's won.